Okay, so this was sent to me by a company called Tid Radio. They saw my last video on the Quan Chang, which I did for you guys. So they asked if I want to look at this product, and I said, okay. I looked at their website, you know, they sell everything from radios to accessories. Pretty good website, actually. So yeah, I said send it to me, and I'll show it off, see what it can do. So, yeah, in the box you get your USB-C charging cable, the dongle. A pretty good manual for a Chinese manual. It's quite well put together. It's quite well thought out. So, yeah, once you've got it, you can charge it. It takes about an hour to charge and it should last for about a day, according to the manual. So this is the version 2.0. So I just said you've got a USB-C charging port instead of a mini USB like the old one. And the orientation of the old one was plugged in facing down. On this one it's facing up. You've got a power button on top which you just press on and off. Just a quick tap. And the LED on the old one from the videos I watched it flashes green on communication. This one flashes blue. So that's the actual box contents. It is well packaged. Very well packaged. Okay, so to get started, you would need to download the Oddmaster app. Here, I've got it downloaded and sign up for an account to use it. So let's open it up. Let's turn on the radio and turn on the Bluetooth device. So just a tap and it's on. So let's get this into frame so you've got various options a lot of these options are for the push to talk function like a community group and different groups you can talk to and add posts share files I guess for this so we're going to go straight to program here we need to connect to Bluetooth turn that on So we're now connected, we need to choose the radio. I've already got it programmed in, but Guancheng UVK5. And let's read from the radio. You can see, if I move my hand out of the way, LEDs flashing, got a progress bar. So it's very quick to read the radio. And from here, you've got the channels, function, so something I need to sort of put across is it's not like chirp. When chirp backs up the radio, it leaves the settings how they are. This one changes the settings to this function page here. So it defaults to these once you write to the radio. It's something to be aware of. So you can change. Let's have a look at what I found the most annoying things about it, to be honest. It was, it turned off the back light there, so I put that to five seconds, and it put on the lock as well, the screen lock, keypad lock is off there. So just check the settings through, make sure they're okay with you, and I did like this logo string where you can change the welcome screen. in your name okay let's go back to channels I believe it's yeah it's ready to write like that once you write to the radio so if you want to see what's stored on the radio you can just tap on channel and in red that's channels which are not programmed in green is the channels which are programmed so at the moment only got one channel programmed so you can go in and do manual programming you've got all your settings here tune and step everything you need to set up a channel manually TX power you can just tap on RX frequency 
type your frequency in. It's done, and it duplicates it underneath. And you can add in a name. So this should program channel 11. Yeah, we're on channel 11 with 136. So let's try it out. Let's see how it works. So it's now it's now programming the radio. So channel 11 should be 136. See when it rebooted it said Ponchang TJ. So let's have a look here. There you go, channel 11, 136. So you can see I've added another one to the Arsenal, so <laughs> had to be done. So I've got one with custom firmware on and one with stock. So I've tried it on both. It does work on both, but remember when you do write to it, it's going to take your custom settings like for the radio and put them to the default of this application so yeah remember that okay so now we could save this list after editing it so if we press tap save call it radio backup confirm so any list which are saved can be accessed through the app or the PC login, I'll talk about that later. So if you want to look at the list, tap on RXTX list, As you can see it's here. And if I tap on channel, see 11 and 1 are programmed. But the neatest feature about this, so obviously no laptop, no cables, holidays or moving around all the time, it's very easy to just grab this and use it. And once you're at your location and you want to import local repeaters, you can just tap on repeater here. And you've got a ton of repeaters to use. At the top you've got options, so this would be highlighting the favourites to import. And then you would assign the channels, the memory channels. The middle one is just your radius setting. So if we say 10 miles, let's sort by these options here. And that's just search in different areas or locations. Just tap in your location. So once you've got your hotspots to import them, tap on import two. Select an empty channel, but I'm going to just select one. Select channel 2, confirm, always make sure you confirm, channel 3, confirm, then tap on import. So you can see 1, 2 and 3 are going to be programmed with that information, everything's in there ready to go. So just going to check function again. Come to display frequency. Make sure that the backlight is on to five seconds. If you're using custom firmware, you can change it back through that to be on permanently. So when I write to this, you can see progress bar and the LED is flashing on the dongle. And we should have those first three channels programmed in. Let's go back to, let's read it again. So we look at channel list again. This first three are programmed. Let's see. It has put in those frequencies, no problem. So yeah, there we have it. That's the repeater function. So you can program offline. So you've got your list there, you can write you know, your lists from here still without being connected to Wi-Fi data, just Bluetooth. 
but another important feature is your PC login so not everyone wants to work from their phone they might want to edit on a bigger spreadsheet tap on me settings you'll see PC programming that's already open if it says closed you tap on it enter your password which you use when you signed up for the account and it should say open we can take a look at the actual PC login and I'll go through that with you so this is the PC login side of things so this is what you do you sign up with your mobile phone app first and then you log in with the same details here so click on sign in you have to do this verification each time So to the left hand side here you have all your radios, your models, your different models. These two are files I've created on the mobile phone app. This one I've created inside of here. As you can see now it will add Chirp. So with this company I've been in communication trying to improve things and this is one I suggested they have implemented that now. So let me show you if I was to delete this click on the delete here select your radio model and Shang is here UVK5 click on add and now you can import your chirp files so a big improvement server is a little bit on the slow side but they're looking into things on this they are going to implement a UK server so that'll be a lot faster then so it's loaded up now so to import a chirp file you have the buttons down here now you can see there's two new buttons import and export if I click on import it tells you you can import chirp file plain CSV file so if I browse for one Click on this one here, import it. So as you can see, we've got 18 channels, and then you can save the file. Let's call it chirp. Click on save. So now within your mobile phone app, you can transfer this list to your radios quickly and easily if you want to edit it you just click on this blue box here on the file you want to edit so I've got to say this company's actually taken on board all the feedback I've given them and they've reacted to it they've fixed issues the UK repeaters when I start testing it they weren't important correctly the decimal point was wrong they've sorted that out and the files inside here when I was changing the files it was deleting the whole form if you like whereas now as you can see it's working fine so yeah credit to them for listening and fixing problems this was over Christmas obviously and within a couple of days so this still needs fine-tuning it's not perfect but it's now working so you guys you know will be able to use it with your Quanchangs so here you can change your channel name all these different frequency settings tuning step yeah and you just make your changes then save below so it's pretty easy to use you can also switch color schemes so yeah it's it's pretty straightforward to use this go back into model list so these are files I've created on the mobile phone app so within here you can change these so you can make changes to frequencies RX TX decoder encoder TX power you can change that here your modes FM AM modes PTT ID, busy lock, scan list, scrambler, tuner step, DTMF, and you can change the name here. 
can just save. And obviously, you've just got your saved file now, which can be accessed by the mobile device. So any changes you make here will be changed on the mobile side of things and vice versa. But definitely the chirp importing has improved this quite a bit. So if we click on edit, you should see the change I made. Okay, so there's your saving of the name CJ1. Medium power, so yeah, everything's good. On that side of things now it's all working so that was a look at the pc login just to show you how to use it um, you've got optional features as well here this is the same as the function side on the mobile phone app looking at it yeah so you can make changes to your welcome screen so you've got dtmf fm so this is the radio stations you can change them here And save those. So it's quite a good layout. This PC login, as not everyone prefers using the mobile phone over a laptop if you can while you're at home anyway. So yeah, some good features about this is now that you can import your chat files. So a big plus. Okay, so my thoughts on the actual dongle itself, it works very well. The communication side, it was very stable. I would have loved to have seen this program firmware. So you can actually get rid of your programming cable altogether. That would have been really good. Love the repeater function. So being able to have no laptop, no cables. When you're out wherever on holiday or just basically driving around. You can just bring in repeaters, you know. It's a case of this is a portable radio, so it's a good idea to have something like this for use when you're on the go. It has got glitches, which I've made you aware of. The Quan Shang not being there unless you've got data or Wi-Fi connected. The function list, not a fan of that. You should have left it as like chirp so it backs up your radio settings your backlight and everything else they are listening to feedback from me they are making changes the radios the list is growing bigger all the time for different radios it's quick to charge a good standby time good usage time so yeah all in all I like it I like the product I'll leave a link down below to their website and to this product you can check them out check out the current pricing if you want to grab yourself one then you can I'll, you know that will leave a discount code for that as well so yeah that's my review of their product hopefully you found it useful if you did leave us a thumbs up comment below cheers guys